Salty Sailors, it's more Baldur's Gate 3! We're playing Ring Around the Elf. I, I, I'm just a little bit horrified by the uh, the sexy salty sailors comment. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Um, we kind of sequence skit something, so there's going to be a big fight with the tieflings over here. But first, I want to go talk to this colorful fellow. <laughs> it's Folo, Folo Camp Godard! He's a canon character. He wrote Volo's Guide to Monsters. You were at the gates just now, a book that is, in my opinion, absolutely required to play D&D 5th Edition because it has tabaxi. A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Hmm. Okay, fine. Ask your questions. Glory. Now then. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Uh, Size, smelly, nature, distinguishing qualities, very smelly. Search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Nice. And a, and a distinct lack of pumpkin heads that j just filled with teeth. Common variety goblins, led by a lasher and flanked by booyags. My, a scholar after my own heart. Spent much time among goblins. I'd rather not say. Are we done here? Far be it from me to pry. Now, as you were saying, Lasha Booyag, hmm? Yes. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Uh, <laughs> there wasn't any dragon. Jesus Christ. The witnesses failed to notice the obvious dragon. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Yes, they called out the name like a war cry. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the absolute. Absolutely horrible? Goblin superstition, not worth the ink and parchment. Ah, but is superstition all? These goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. So, Adrian, how much mustache watch do you think this guy keeps with him? Oh, a good amount. Wait. About our conversation earlier, why the dragon? Never you find who needs mercy when you have a quick tongue. Oh, uh, I pressed the wrong button. Potion stashed in one's back pocket. Until we meet again. I pressed one instead of two. Uh, his answer was supposed to be every story's better with a dragon. So when you read Volo's Guide to Monsters, take it with a massive grain of salt. <laughs> you actually read the book? I just look at the pretty pictures. Well, I mean, you gotta know the stats. Show some dignity and leave. You've burdened this place with your troubles long enough. All right, yeah, jeez, fine. I'm trying to help you, greats. These people oh, have. Oh no! Oh no! We're gonna have to tell them their daughter's dead. Ah, uh, these guys are. I'm sure, it'll be fine. Ah, uh, you want to do it? Sure. Rip it. Unless you have news of Arabella, I don't want to hear it. Uh, see, she was bitten by a snake. It happened quickly. She felt no pain. Uh. Oh, do I. Do I incite a rebellion? That's my answer. Alright, I'll go with you. Wait, what? What are you saying? She, she dead. Eric of Moradin. I, I, I don't understand. Locke? Please. Is Arabella all right? <laughs> She's fine! Probably. Probably. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's be honest with him. No. 
I Sorry really, about that. I, I really hate that you only get one shot to save her, and the DC is really high. It is kind of really high. Hold on, I want to check my inventory. How much money do we have? We got plenty of money. Uh, we also got plenty of thieves tools, so never mind. Oh wait, I got some stuff to sell to this kid. Oh, this is what tiefling children look like. We already met one. Well, we only saw her for like a short she second died. before she kicked, before she kicked the fucking bucket. <laughs> yeah. Take this ring. I remember I saw a thread once, someone complaining about how the hell do you, um, Call it. people Tales. are like, how are tieflings like born with those obvious horns? To which the answer is, like all animals that develop horns, they're not born with horns. They grow in as they grow up, and you can see that little tiefling kids have smaller horns. They do have smaller horns. Interested? Uh, hold on, one coin toss doesn't prove anything, you okay, fucking huckster. Let's go again. Heads also, heads. typically, um, creatures born with hooves and claws, uh, are born Tails. with a protective coating on those hooves and claws. Here, take your ring back, I want to see your wares. If you have, uh, magic, you can be like, this ring isn't magic at all, you're fucking with me. Okay. They have a, they have a fucking fishing pole. I wonder if you can fish in the game. Hmm, that's a good point. I don't know. Never tried it. Uh, usually because I don't like uh, fishing mini games. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> You gave me four gold. What's down this ladder? It looks like junk and moves on. I just wanted to support a young businessman. Oh, you have. You definitely have. We. Anyway. You again, we elves Take are uh, definitely fans of the free market. Oh, I thought you were going to say snooty. Oh, no, I'm a wood elf, not a high elf. <laughs> uh. Uh, insert obligatory. Yeah, man, he's a high elf. <laughs> what is this one? Where are you? Oh, oh you're down here. Oh, I found something. It's called the Tiefling Hideout. What? You found a hideout? Yeah. Right, right here in this cleverly disguised little oh, area. Oh, rocky crevasse. I can't fit through here. Wonder if there's another. Uh, Are we? I'm, I'm too big. You're the only one that can fit through. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lewis is off having his own little adventure that I can't record. Uh, what they if don't I like crouch. They don't like me in here. Oh yeah, I can't imagine why. I'm gonna try and crouch. Wow, I can't even fit through crouching. Ah, you shouldn't have been born so tall. I think I'll uh, come back out here so we're, I'm not, it's not just me going off on my own. Alright, well, that's fun. We found a secret. So, uh, Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Hip, if you're a dwarf or a halfling, you can sneak through in that rocky crevasse. That's actually quite clever. Make sure the group lays out, otherwise you'll leave her behind. I wonder if they, they'll have a, a hireling uh, capability in this game later on. I don't think so. You so. Could, so you could just make an all-gnome party. Oh, that'd be fun. Uh, or or play four-player multiplayer, everyone play gnomes. Hey, Lewis, you forgot to group Lazelle. Oh, uh, yeah. So you ungrouped her when you crawl through the crevasse. Uh, so there is one game where you can get hirelings, though, and I want to talk about it because I'm afraid that it's like a really interesting game, but I'm afraid it will get kind of left behind with all the Baldur's Gate 3 news. Have you heard of Solasta, Crown of the Magistar? Yeah, I've heard of it. It's, okay. uh... it's also out of early access, and um, that game, I think it's worth playing if you're playing this game because it definitely does some things different. And mm -hmm. some of the things it does differently, I really like. Not what I said. For example, uh, they actually start? have proper huh? orders for disengaging. This game doesn't really have a proper disengage function. You can jump to disengage, but the problem for rogues, remember, is that rogues get cunning action, which gives them a free dash or disengage. But if your game doesn't mm -hmm. have a dedicated disengage function... Then mm -hmm. you can't do one of my favorite rogue tricks, which is to uh, stab someone and then run away. In fact, when I played the swashbuckler rogue, that whole thing was about that. Uh, you, The way the swashbuckler rogue works is you go up to someone, you stab them, and then you automatically disengage. Ah, talking to these guys. Yeah. 
I just randomly clicked on them and it's just like... Uh, Good job on the... Oh, hey, I can see your rolls now. Oh, cool. I somehow passed. Yeah. Thank you. It's the right thing to do and you know uh, it. But, uh, cr yeah, Crown of the Magistar does actually have a... Uh, there's a faction in that game where they are hirelings. Basically what they do is after you clear out a dungeon... They'll come, and they'll take up all of the, like, random loot that would weigh your party down, and mm -hmm. then they split the profits with you 50-50. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. The other thing is that that game works is that you don't make one character, you make a whole party of four characters. Mm -hmm. And then based on your race, class, alignment, and background, you pick a bunch of different personality tags. And the game is really good about creating these, like procedurally generated conversations where each character has their own little personality. Uh, still... my, yeah, yeah. my only complaint with Crown of the Magistar, well, first of all, um, graphics are nowhere near as good as this game. Some of the character models look like they're from 2006. Like and it doesn't have nearly as many race options. It's just humans, elves, dwarves, halflings, and half-elves. And it's also right now only six classes. Uh, the only difference in classes between Solasta and Baldur's Gate 3 is that Solasta replaced Warlock with Paladin. Mm, not sure which one's a better option. I think Warlock is a little bit more flavorful, yeah. to be honest. Oh, Mugwort! We can sell that. So, this way... Because I am... There's a thing I want to do for this, oh. for this playthrough. I want to play... I am, I'm just being very observant. There's a stone door over here. Yeah, that's like a secret entrance. Oh, okay. I, Never mind. We, f we found that, actually. Did we? Remember when we found that secret passage where the oh, goblins? We oh, came yeah. out that way. That's where we were like, oh, that's how the goblins got in. Environmental storytelling. Oh. People up ahead. Something's wrong. Oh, somebody got hurt. It's another dwarf. Hello, fellow dwarf. You can't die. Please stay with us. That guy's the worst hair ever. Conscious. Can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. I can't tell if he's got male pattern baldness or just tried to go for the reverse mohawk and fucked flesh. it up. And something within you stirs in response. Uh, what's my medicine at? His wounds look deep. I might be able to help. 50-50 shot. Hey, look! Yes! He's hurt badly. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do... I'm watching you. The I mean, I... man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. Hold his stare. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna. New recruits. Yours to shepherd. Protect them. She is a true soul. Mind her. She will. She. She. I've got magic, you know. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the absolute now. You you're, people are crazy. You're a oh, yeah. true soul. Edwin, our brother. He was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. Okay. Uh, uh, why are you out here? The wilderness is dangerous. We know that all too well, man. But the absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. Oh! <laughs> I'm one of the survivors! Yeah! You! Brother! Kill her! Oops. You have made a mistake, my good friend. Now these people made a mistake. They attacked us. They did make a mistake in that regard. Really? Oh. Actually. I love Evocation Wizard. Okay, now oh, run actually. away. Now run away. There we are. There's one guy left. 
I like that D&D 5th Edition has movement rather than move action, so that I can, like, move the wizard up, set them all on fire, and then run away. Just give them and a they, push. And then you can, sh as a bonus action, shove them so that they're as far away from the wizard as possible. Ah, shit. I got color sprayed. You dumb jerk. Hmm. Well, that was an interesting. Uh, let's talk to that guy's corpse. Okay, a broken spear shaft. The man is dead. Eh? But something shifts. Are you seeing this? Yeah, I clicked on you. I'm getting it. Oh, gross! The same as the creature behind your eye. I hate it. Wonder if it tastes good. Crush it. Uh. One squeeze should do it, but you stop short. How could you think of harming something so beautiful? Uh, it's not so there. Pure. It's just a hand. Yeah, but it's not there. Um. Your insight's really good, so resist it. Yeah. Oh wow. Watch as he blows it. Oh, thank God. The tadpole Give it a squish. Give it a squish. To stomp it into the dirt. Stomp, stomp, stomp. But it's too precious. Well, it's, at least it's on the ground. Yes. Isn't it? Loves it. Let's see. Well, inside's pretty decent, so. It is your best roll. Even even when it's just target five, I'm like, but this game will sometimes give you like a haha. Here's a one asshole. Intense regret washes over you. So even when it's like difficulty five, I'm like, oh god, oh jeez, what's gonna happen? Well, that's gone. All right, I can talk to you. Excellent. These yeah. things abandon their host as soon as they need to. Vile parasites. Um, at least these parasites can be removed. Now to find a non-fatal way. Let's see. Despair does us no good. Let us look forward and push on. Yeah. All right. Now let's see. Talk with dead. <laughs> Okay. Uh, well, I already know where. Who? Uh, let's see. Who chose uh, you? Who chose you? Absolute, the Almighty God. Uh. Valuables. Do not fight her. Power! Such power! Um, we know what they were doing here. Endric. Sister! The spell's power wanes. Well, you, you failed. Um, yeah, I, you did kind of fail. We just killed them. At least you're all together. Do -ba -do -ba -do -do -do. Did you get that scroll of bless? Yeah. All right. I got a bunch of things. Uh, is there like a sorting button? There, oh, there is not. They need. There's definitely some quality of life stuff this game needs. Any sorting no, button. There. Is there it? is a sorting button. Yep. Oh, I didn't know it's, that. It's up the top. Neat. Right next. Thank you, Larry. I didn't even know that. And I was going to fucking chew you out. Okay. So something I have been wanting to do but I've always sucked at is I want to get the Albear Cup. Yeah. Uh, open coffin. Oh. Oh, I thought you meant that we could open the coffin. Okay. Well, if there's an owlbear, let's talk to it.
Oh. You went into somewhere. Yeah, there's an owlbear cave up ahead. This is where we get the owlbear... This is step one of getting the owlbear cub pet. Which I've never gotten. I always screw it up. So hopefully we don't screw it up this time. I'm just going to save. Wise decision. That stench. Dead owlbear. You know, I think... I could probably give you guidance for this. Yeah. There you go. Well, now I gotta hurry. Only last ten rounds. I make it always. It's a cantrip, so I can always give it back. Oh, fun fact: if you bring a Starian through here, he can't cross that without taking damage. Oh, because he's a he's a vampire. Yeah. Check it out. That's a big owlbear. That is a big mama owlbear. Heavy footsteps before you see it. An owlbear. Its beaked face looming out of the darkness. Aren't these things irrationally aggressive? What's this? Something weak. Yeah, but Something I can't speak with animal. Won't even have to chew you before I feed you to my son. Soft meat. Uh, you're injured. There's still a half spear lodged in your head. It's a splinter. But I've got a bigger threat than you with worse. Ranger persuasion. I would never intrude on your nest knowingly this was a simple mistake. A mistake that would cost you your life if you posed any real danger. You can go, but you make one wrong step and I'll rip you to shreds. Okay. So. Oh. There's a body over here that has armor. I need this armor. But well, it starts the pissed. battle. I know, I know. So you here's the thing. It off. Only kill the owlbear. Don't kill the baby. Okie dokie. Once the mother dies, it ends the fight. So don't kill the baby. We need the baby alive so that we can adopt him. Fortunately, I've got that wyvern toxin. Okay. There. Bolster. Two, three. Second then, wind, menacing attack, punishing attack. I believe you already used her. I haven't used her attack yet. I'm trying to see if there's like a defensive action I can take. Yeah, so that's the other thing this game needs. This game needs uh, this game doesn't have the dodge um, action from fifth edition, which means that when enemies attack you, they take um, disadvantage. Solaster Crown of the Magistar has the dodge action. Okay, I'll just prolong. I'll wait. Uh, have you used Gale yet? Yes, he cast magic missile. That's why it's at 26 out of 81 hit points. Okay. Well, I've hit end. Have you hit end yet? There we go. Oh. No! What did you do? I shot you with a poisoned arrow. She is mildly distressed. Oh, she went for you. And she missed. Mildly surprising. Guiding bolt. Eh, 70% chance. More importantly, now we have um, advantage on attacks against her. Okay, and then it, and end turn. Like I said, ignore the baby. We're gonna save him. Mm. Get the fuck Define, away. define save. Because I'm pretty sure we just murdered his mama. Wake. Hungry. A single strike will end his suffering. No. Hungry. Food. You watch speechless as the cub begins to eat his mother. That's slightly horrifying. Eh, that's what predators do. I remember. Prolonged its misery. No, we didn't. We're gonna save him. We gotta. Well, we gotta leave him for now. These are supposed to be worth a fortune. 
And I got that sick armor, Oak Father's Embrace. It's a uh, hide armor. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it actually is good for my armor class. It is! My armor class is one better, and I look more like a ranger! Check it out. Hmm? I look like a ranger now. Ugh, I look like a barbarian. Alright, there's treasure this way. Oh, a heavy stone. Looks like a shrine to Saluna over there. Okay, so, um, hmm. What the hell? Alright, here we go. What, what? What? Why am I climbing back up? Why did I jump? Cause Why did apparently... I take damage? Because, uh, yeah. Why not, right? So even though, even with the latest patch, this game... Ow! Ow! That actually fucking killed me! Oh shit, dude. Yeah, don't leave the chest alone. There's, There is a trap. Whoops! Uh... Scrolls. So yeah, oh, um... I think I might need to heal myself. Resistance. There's a book on the war between Selune and Char, for those of you interested in... Forgotten Realms lore. Yeah, okay, so... That, uh, p treasure chest is protected by a spell. Over here... Fuck, I failed the perception. Okay, you need to come over here. Yeah, give me a second. Yeah, 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 you can heal yourself. I think after this we'll take a long rest. Because I'm out of spells, Gale's almost out of spells. Dang. Actually, because I, of that stupid thing where I jumped and then fell on the ground, I lost concentration, so... I don't have any spells now. Dang, and just kind of like, wander around here. Yeah, we found it. A prayer dedicated to Saloon, exploring all except the Moon Maiden's mission and her bounty. A prayer sheet. What's the symbol of it? Okay. Yep. So what you do is you pick that up. And then we gotta go back to the chest. And then with the scroll in your inventory, you read it. Chests unlocked. And that removes the trap. What was in it? Uh, so there is Idol of Silune, which is worth 60 gold. A silver necklace worth 150 gold. And an onyx worth 50 gold. So basically there's money. Just money. Where is Lazel? Uh, I don't know. She's probably at the top of the thingy. The climbable thing. And that's it for the Albert Cave. We'll come back later. Okay, we'll, we'll see the Albert Cub later. Bring her over here. She, for some reason, didn't want to climb down. That's. Yeah, freaking. Climbing is beneath a Gith warrior. I'm pretty sure she had to have learned. Basic athletics. Gith uh, do not climb. We levitate using our natural psionic abilities. Alright, uh, let's go back to camp now. Okay. Might I say, that was the strangest place possible for a random shrine to be? <laughs> 